Yesterday on the main channel, we talked about Fallout First and how just mind blown I was that they were going to be charging a subscription fee for Fallout 76, at least features that seem like people had worked to compile alongside Bethesda during the $60 beta test period and they were gonna put it behind a paywall and then charge for it. Things like private rooms, which is something a lot of people are asking for. And I, I kind of remember, I went back and looked too, I, I remember them saying that that was, that was something they were gonna work on and it was gonna come later. And that was, you know, months and months before this paid service happened. And then of course, ways to store scrap with an unlimited stash and some tokens essentially to the Atom shop. Nothing too crazy there, but, but it's, it's laughable, I guess, is the best way to say it, because what do you think happened when they launched Fallout first? Basically the same thing that happened when Fallout 76 launched. It's broken. So much so that there's an entire list that has now been created on Reddit with the Fallout 76 subreddit, just kind of documenting everything. And oh, oh man, this is, this is incredible. I mean, look, if you're running this whole thing, right, you are already had to have been like, I guess we'll we'll charge them. There'll be this backlash, but you know what? It'll work and it'll work great, right? We'll get $100 a year, but it will be worth it because we'll put the time at the <laughs> Nah, that's not what happened. Uh it's we're to the point now where the private rooms aren't actually new private rooms and the stash that you're putting into your unlimited you base your unlimited uh, uh, inventory that you're allowed to keep everything with is actively deleting the stuff that you're putting in there. It is just, it, it's it's amazing how Fallout 76 continues to get worse. Like last year, we looked at Fallout 76 and we thought it can't get any worse than this. And uh, well, here we are. So let's take a look at this, this bug report so you can see what I'm talking about here. This is, like I said, on the subreddit, the unofficial but comprehensive bug roundup patch 14. And this was actually made pretty much right away. As soon as this this whole thing went live and people bought into it, which I, again, I, I can't believe people are buying into this, but they are. Uh, really, again, Bethesda should be working to restore goodwill and, reputa and their reputation. Instead, they are well, they're damaging it. I this is this has been an amazing cut, like two years now, year and a half now with Bethesda to just see how much they have fallen at this point. It really is. It's it's amazing, right? But I guess that's what happens when you want to chase the live services, and we're going to be talking about Ubisoft tomorrow and Newswave and how they have also seemingly fallen. But anyway. Let's go through this Reddit post, shall we? They're having a hard time just getting the membership. That apparently is, they're struggling just with that, as you see with the Atomic Shop of the issue of PC players reporting problems, just purchasing the membership. Just, just think that should be a red flag right away. <laughs> if the membership, the thing that enables you to get this content is already struggling to complete a transaction to sign you up for a subscription service, and they're having a hard time doing that, yeah, that's, that's very telling. But after reading through some of this stuff, Everything seems to be having a problem. Camp, there's an issue placing the pop-up tent that is part of the Fallout first. It's crazy to me that you have the scrap boxes. As you see here, scrap boxes are consuming the scrap, the stuff that you put into it, right? You go, okay, I'm gonna store this because I now have unlimited scrap storage, which is a big deal. That's, that's the second thing they told us about. They're like, oh, private rooms and the ability to store as much scrap as you want. Well, there's now multiple reports of Fallout first members placing all of their junk in the scrap box and finding it empty when they next log on. And the scrap still isn't there after re-logging on again, basically trying to, you know, exit out, come back in, basically try restarting it, right? Turn it off, turn it back on again, nothing. Uh, and, and tons of these reports are coming in. It seems to be an issue just in general with the game and the servers and basically communicating back and forth that scrap was put in and not that it was, I guess, taken back out. It's, it's really, really strange that something as basic as this is struggling. Now it does say that Bethesda is looking into this currently and I would hope so. I mean, I would have hoped that this would have been taken care of before the launch, right? When you're like, oh, unlimited scrap. Uh, well, I mean, I guess if your scrap is just disappearing, technically, yeah, you do have unlimited storage. They'll just wipe it out every time you drop it in there. What was the biggest thing that they made, uh, that they really talked about here? We're gonna scroll down here because they, they talk a bit about it. What was the biggest thing that they said here? It was private rooms or private worlds, right? They were like, look, you and, you and uh, up to seven friends can get in this world. Only the person who is running the world needs to have this membership. Everyone else can just join in, right? And you guys have fun in this private world. 
they're not actually private, it seems. Yeah, it's weird. Check this out. This is actually uh, an issue with multiple reports of new worlds created. They are not new. Yeah, I, I have no idea what this is about. This is very, very odd. It says, there are a few reports I've got confirmation from a few reputable sources that newly created worlds when a private world is first selected by a Fallout first player has dead NPCs, already looted junk, so they're not time spawns, but but clipboards and other abnormalities that when tested multiple times seem to indicate these are not new world instances, but reallocated older server instances. So they are seemingly in no way private either. Without the anonymous mode we've begged for, the fact somewhere along the way, temporarily blocking someone on our friends list no longer blocks them from seeing us. Anyone on the friends list of a Fallout first player can join. So if they just see you on the friends list, apparently they can just join into your world. You can't actually lock it down from other people jumping in, which is an obvious problem. I mean, you're you're paying $100 a year or $12.99 a month. You figure you'd be able to at least lock down the world that has been recycled. It's not even like just formed right there when you sign on and you're like, oh, I want a private world. Let's do this. Uh, you're actually technically getting one reallocated to you and NPCs being dead, things being looted. What 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 is what is going on here? What is everyone paying for exactly? Because this is this is like next level even for Bethesda after all the stuff that took place with Fallout 76. And I don't know what the problem is here with this whole thing. Bethesda has fallen badly, like really badly. I know horse armor was a whole thing back in the day, but this is like it, it's hard to describe what's happened here with Bethesda. It's really, really strange. It's definitely not, as a lot of people pointed out, it doesn't feel like the same Bethesda that we knew even three years ago. I mean, that page on the subreddit goes on for a while. It is a lengthy post, and that's all stuff that's been gathered in the last 24 hours. That is obscene. That's, again, mind-blowing, because if you're gonna charge a subscription like this on top of a game that's been out for a year now, basically, right? It's, it's Yeah, it's been a year. You figure, one, the bugs would have already been worked out, especially if you're going to then start charging for it, and the features that you were then going to charge for would have just worked out of the gate, right? Well, apparently not. And that's where we are, Bethesda. Now, I don't know how easily this is going to be to fix, considering it's taken them a while just to implement features like these, and that's with a paywall in the way. At this point, though, Bethesda, people are paying monthly for these features. You figure they should have all hands on deck getting this thing figured out and done. But the fact that even like the private worlds and stuff are reallocated and not new at all is alarming. It's, it's very concerning because I just I don't I just don't think Bethesda is ready for a games as a service game, especially like a Fallout 76 to be kind of turned into that. It, it just again. To me, anyway, when I look at the gaming landscape now, it's a lot of companies chasing live services and doing whatever they can to form or mold a franchise into that because they see a lot of money. I mean, they've turned this thing into a Fallout 76 with a $60 game, and now it is a monthly charge for a game. I mean, $12.99 a month or $100 for the year? I don't think these features, especially if it's recycled worlds, are worth that much, but... I guess it's money, and instead of doing something like really trying to introduce another Fallout or get Starfield ready to go or, or Elder Scrolls, they're they're working on recycled worlds for a hundred dollars a year. That is uh, that's that that's just sad. I don't know. There's no other way to put it. It's just, it's a shame. It's it's terrible to see. I think at this point where Bethesda is, but maybe next generation with uh, with Starfield and the next Elder Scrolls, maybe they can turn things around. But if they're using the same engine and everything, I don't know if the game will ever, any of these games will ever launch in a working or satisfactory state. But let me know what you guys think about this down below, especially, oh, if you were someone who paid for this, you have to let us know down below why that is. Or if you did pay for it, are you satisfied with what you got for the $100 per year? My thoughts based on what I'm seeing here is no. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.